Good evening and welcome in to Earthsprung Gymnasium here on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University as we have some Ohio Athletic Conference volleyball action here between your Yellow Jackets and the Capitol Crusaders. Between the two games here this evening, it will be seniors night and the seniors will be honored again between the two games and we'll go over who those seniors are again for the Yellow Jackets. But for the Crusaders coming in here, they are one of the only two teams here in the Ohio Athletic Conference that have already played so far this season. It was Otterbein and Capital that went up against each other earlier this week. And Otterbein got the best of the Crusaders here, winning both games and taking each set. So, so far a slow start for the Crusaders. Looking to respond here and see if they can spoil the Yellow Jackets senior night. So as we're going through the lineups here for the teams right now, again, want to mention the seniors for the Yellow Jackets who are opening this season here at home. We've got Sydney Kolchigoff, Kathleen Egan, Alexis Garrett, Allison May, Kale Nicholas, Sam Pruitt, and Sarah Reinhardt. And those are the several seniors for the Yellow Jackets, again, having outstanding careers and hoping to get their senior season here, starting off on the right track. Again, my name's Cole McDaniel. Thanks for watching and listening here on BWYellowJackets.com. About to get this first set underway. The Crusaders coming in and they're white tops and the purple bottoms and the libero for them. And the number seven, Aaron O'Connell in the gray top. For the Yellow Jackets in their white, the black bottoms and the libero for the Yellow Jackets is the senior, Sarah Reinhardt, and she is in the gold jersey. Getting this one started, it will be the Yellow Jacket serving. We'll start in the hands of number eight, Kathleen Egan, one of those seniors mentioned earlier. Some good action here to start, and that one finds the floor. And the Yellow Jackets picking up the first point. Behind the kill there of number 22, Cecilia Stebel, the junior, out of Union, Ohio, went to Northmont High School. That serve a little bit too much juice on it. From Kathleen Egan, and we're all knotted up here at one. Point there for the Yellow Jackets. Up two to one now. Again, mentioned that Otterbein and Capital, the only two here in the conference that had played so far this week. Tonight, everybody else in action, including both of those teams as well. I will keep you updated on the scores going around the conference as it's Muskingum versus John Carroll. Again, you're watching this one here between Capital and Baldwin Wallace. Wilmington up against Heidelberg, Marietta, and Ohio Northern as well as Otterbein and Mount Union. And a point there for the Crusaders, nodding this one up here at two. In the first set. Jackets picking up that point, going out in front three to two. Back to serve as number 16, Issa Luciano. Egan sets it and that one just dropped in. Capital keeps it alive. Into the net 
It was Delaney Nahikian who went up. Could not get that one over the net. And the Yellow Jackets pick up a point there again, 4-2. Point picked up there for the Yellow Jackets once again. This time, number 12, Ivy Earl. The Yellow Jackets starting to get into a rhythm here early in the first set. Served by Luciano. A line drive out the back, a little too long, and a point for the Crusaders, five to three. That right there, the second service air for the Yellow Jackets at this point. Served through the Crusaders. That was number nine, Alyssa Holler. The set. And Garrett and the Crusaders can't quite get to get that. And great job there by Alexis Garrett. Again, mentioned one of those seniors. Picking up the point there for the Yellow Jackets. Six to three. So far, the Yellow Jackets on seven attacks, four kills. Looking solid offensively, and the Crusaders still need to get it going after struggling against the Cardinals. And that one out the back and long for the Yellow Jackets. Just a little bit too much on that for Kale Nicholas. Egan, the set, and the kill there for Ivy Earl. Point kill by number 12, Ivy Earl. Seven to four, Yellow Jackets here in the first set. And it will be Earl back to serve. Point for the Yellow Jackets, that one long there. Is Miranda Jordan trying to get that one to drop? Could not do so. And Yellow Jackets, four point advantage up eight to four. Yellow Jackets just send that one over. Here's the Crusaders on the attack. Blockers doing their job for the Yellow Jackets. Decent rally here, and that time Jordan gets it to drop. The junior out of Springfield went to Emmanuel Christian Academy for high school. Served there by Kaylee Hamby. Yellow Jackets get that one. Cecilia Stebel. So far, Stable has been the attacking presence for the Yellow Jackets starting this one off. And they pick up another point there, though. Outstanding job by number 16, Issa Luciano. And Luciano out of Willoughby. Putting the Yellow Jackets up 10 to 5. And service there there for the Yellow Jackets and it goes to Crusaders. Now 10 to six, Yellow Jackets still with the advantage here. Grace Grundy with the serve. Egan, the set. Yellow Jackets picking up the point there. 
Walker's doing the job for the Crusaders, just not able to get to drop down on the Yellow Jacket side, just barely out of bounds here. And we're gonna have the first timeout on the floor, and as we do so, just want to remind you that tonight's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball game is being brought to you by Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, the healthcare provider for BW Athletics. Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company, and the Oswald Company for all of your insurance and risk management needs. We'll take a quick break here on BWYellowJackets.com. We'll be right back. As we're back here on BWYellowJackets.com. Again, if you're just now tuning in, thanks for watching and listening with myself, Cole McDaniel. Yellow Jackets with an early 11 6 lead here in the first set. The Crusaders looking to bounce back, though. This one up for Stable. And tipped over. And a point for the Yellow Jackets. So the Yellow Jackets now doubling up their lead here at the moment, 12 to six. Egan with the service. And that one, a little bit long there. Just out the back and Crusaders, we can have that point, 12 to seven. Jordan with her service. Ivy Earl couldn't deal with that one. And Goes to the back wall, and the Crusaders pick up the point there. This one just tipped over. Grundy keeps it alive, and that one out the back for the Crusaders. But it was tipped off of the Yellow Jacket player, right off the fingertip. And the Crusaders pick up the point. We're starting to cut into this here. The Yellow Jackets have to just get it over. Once again, the Crusaders on the attack. And this one long, and the Yellow Jackets pick up that point, ends that brief little run there from the Crusaders. Checking in is Morgan Martin, and she'll go back to serve. A little bit of energy there from the benches as well as good to have some parents here in the stands. Just good to have these ladies back on the floor playing volleyball once again here in the spring. In addition to keeping you updated on what's going around the OAC conference and women's volleyball action here this evening. Really, football starting as well tonight. The Yellow Jackets on the road at John Carroll. A big crosstown rivalry there. We'll update you on that. But spring sports and fall sports starting to overlap. Really coming to fruition here this weekend. And so it will be a busy time. So make sure to continue to stay tuned in to BWYellowJackets.com for all of your sports information and to watch all the games know what's going on with a busy time here. And it's a busy time all across the OAC conference. 15 to 10 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. The service for Luciano. And the Crusaders with the kill there, picking up the point. Service from Holler. And that one just drops out the back. Point for the Yellow Jackets. Yellow Jackets. 
Sydney Kolchigoff back to serve. The senior out of Finley went to Liberty Benton High School. Set. And gonna be a point there for the Yellow Jackets. 17 to 11. Clever play there by Egan. Puts that one over the net. And the Crusaders will take a timeout once again with the score 18 to 11. We'll take a timeout with them here on BWYellowJackets.com. that timeout here on BWYellowJackets.com will be the Yellow Jackets serving once again with Colch Goff first game action here for the Yellow Jackets and already getting into a decent rhythm and an ace there from Colch Goff a little run mounting for BW Service there just a little bit long. Point for the Crusaders, 19 to 12. Set from Egan. Yellow Jackets keep it alive. Have to put it back over. Here come the Crusaders on the attack. It's Jordan off of the fingertips of the blockers, and the Crusaders get the point. And just a reminder, if you're just now tuning in, this is not the only game here this evening. And there will be a short break in honoring of the seniors. And after the senior night celebration oh, festivities, there will be a second matchup between these two teams. Nicholas picks up the points there. For the Yellow Jackets leading 20 to 13 here in the first set. Point Service for the Crusaders. And the Yellow Jackets having a tough time handling that one. Reinhardt made the effort at the end. It's going to take something special to get it. Back over the net there. And that's an ace there for the Crusaders. Sneaks into that back left corner. Can Kaylee Hamby do it once again? This time, Yellow Jackets well dealt with. And a big play there by Cecilia Stable. 21 to 16, Yellow Jackets. Now Sarah Reinhardt, senior from Willoughby. That's Will Willoughby South High School with the service. Egan straight into the blockers there. Grundy not able to deal with that, just drops on the Crusader side of the net. 
Yellow Jackets picking up the point once again, getting close to finishing up this first set. Can the Crusaders make a run and get back into this? And what a huge play by the Yellow Jackets, keeping it alive. Jordan off the blockers there and out of bounds. Point Crusaders. Twenty-two to seventeen. Jordan to this point has been the leader offensively for the Crusaders. On the end, they're in for the Yellow Jackets. It's been stable. Blockers doing their job. Last off of the Crusaders. Point Yellow Jackets, 23-17. Kathleen Egan back with the service. Egan sets it. Point there for the Crusaders. Keeping them alive here in the first set. And they mount a comeback and a little run. And that just drops on the line there for Miranda Jordan. Up around the net, she has been leading it as a hitter, but with that service dropping in for the ace. And a big kill there by Stable. Kill by number 22, Cecilia Stable. 24-19. One point needed here for the Yellow Jackets and coming in to serve is Morgan Martin, a junior out of Seven Hills, went to Trinity High School. Yellow Jackets send it over as it just sneaks over the net. Crusaders out of bounds there. And the point and the set there for the Yellow Jackets, 25 to 19. First set. We will take a break here on BWYellowJackets.com before the second set. Make sure to stay tuned for more action here in women's volleyball in the OAC Conference.
And as we're back here on BWYellowJackets.com, again, Cole McDaniel, thanks for watching and listening here with us tonight. Through the first set, the Yellow Jackets picking that one up by a score of 25 to 19. Take a look at the individual stats again for the Yellow Jackets leading the way offensively, picking up six points for a team. Cecilia Stable off of six kills. She was a force to be reckoned with there in the first set. A lot of the offense really ran through her. Alexis Garrett had three kills herself. Ivy Earl with two. Kathleen Egan with two. And she's doing a great job setting up her teammates as well, picking up some assists. As for the Crusaders, mentioned that there's Miranda Jordan, who's leading the way offensively, picking up six points for her team. Had four kills, and she will be the one back to serve. Crusaders through the first set actually had more attacks than the Yellow Jackets, 33 to 25. It was the Yellow Jackets who had a much more effective hit percentage and were able to pick up that first set. But so far, great start with the ace there for Jordan for the Crusaders. Point for the Yellow Jackets, knotting it up at one. Again, the Crusaders, when they took on Otterbein, the Cardinals, in the two games they played, won all six sets. Still looking for that first set of the season for them. Can it come here in the second? So tipped over. The blockers doing their job and placed in the back corner there for the Yellow Jackets. They go up two to one in the second set. The service is over and Allison May dropping that one in. Egan sets it, Garrett up, and the blockers doing their job. Well done by the Crusaders. All knotted up at two. Right now, an update. What's going on around the conference? I mentioned Miss Kingham and John Carroll were facing off here this evening. And it's Miss Kingham with the advantage over John Carroll here at the moment. Yellow Jackets pick up the point. Now currently up four to two. We'll continue to update you on the rest of the conference here. This one up by Egan. Ivy Earl, and the blocker gets to it there. Well done by Capital. For Marietta versus Ohio Northern. Marietta won the first set. 25 to 20. They're just starting the second here at this moment. And for Otterbein and Mount Union, Otterbein won the first set 25 to 13 pretty handily. They're just at the start of the second set, knotted up two to two. <laughs> Yellow Jackets picking up the point. And Kale Nicholas getting the kill there. Five to three in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Here's the serve by Earl. Five to four after that Crusaders point. And 
Mikhail Nicholas came up and hit that with some venom. Just a little hot, a little long there. Couldn't get it to drop down, but you can hear the wind off of that one. Five to five. Now the Crusaders take the lead here in the second set. Six to five. done by the Yellow Jackets. Crusaders still keeping it alive. A bit of a rally mounting here. And a big kill there. Number 22, Cecilia Stable. Served there by Reinhardt. Here's Jordan. And another point for the Yellow Jackets. Seven to six is your score in favor of BW. Here's the set. Blockers for the Yellow Jackets doing their job. The Crusaders up by the net. Just not able to get it over. Little three point run here, mounting for BW. Reinhardt floats this one over. Set, Jordan. Hits off of the top of the net. The Yellow Jackets. And who else but Cecilia Stable again with the kill. She has been tough to deal with here this evening. Reinhardt dropping that one in the back corner. Sneaking it in. Picking up that nice ace there. 10 to six Yellow Jackets. Just tipped over by Hamby and Yellow Jackets send it back the other way. Through the Crusaders. Egan, set, and the kill, Stable. And Capital just trying to stop the bleeding here. It's been a Yellow Jackets run. Yellow Jackets now up 11 to six. We'll take a break here on BWYellowJackets.com. And out of that Capital Crusaders timeout, the Yellow Jackets will continue to try to tack on to this lead here in the second set after winning the first. Sarah Reinhardt, senior to serve once again. Lockers for the Yellow Jackets doing their job. Egan sends it over. Jordan, BW blockers meet that one. It was Allison May as well as Egan there at the net. 12 to 6. One long there for the Crusaders. 
13 to six now for the Yellow Jackets. And this set start off well for Capital. Just need to kind of get back into a rhythm, get one point, start swinging things their direction. Can Jordan do it? And it's the blockers at the net that are able to get it done. Kaylee Hamby, as well as Reagan Willoughby there to meet it at the net. Serve long there for Hamby. The sophomore out of Newberry. 14 to seven Yellow Jackets. Sydney Kolchigoff will go to the bench. Alexis Garrett checks back in. Egan to serve. Garrett just tips off the top of the net. And just a little bit long here on the near side of the floor. Point to the Crusaders, 14 to eight. Oh, a great hustle play there by Reinhardt and the Yellow Jackets keep it alive. And they get these points, rewarded for her effort. Sarah Reinhardt not afraid to sacrifice her body on the far side of the floor. What a play by the senior. Fifteen eight yellow jackets. The blockers. For the Yellow Jackets, here's the set. Ivy. Another opportunity on the attack, Garrett. Jordan just bumps that over. May, still a rally here. Keeps going back and forth. Who can get the point? And it's gonna be the Yellow Jackets. And Ivy Earl. the junior out of Howell, Ohio. Making it 16-8, Yellow Jackets. Just tipped over there by Grundy. Egan to Garrett. Point there for the Crusaders. 16 to 9. Still in favor of BW. That would be Miranda Jordan to serve for Capital. So way back. The Crusaders not able to deal with it. Alexis Garrett, the senior out of Mentor. She gets the kill there and Yellow Jackets go up 17 to nine. Timeout here by Capital. When we come back, it should be number 23, Angela Dunn, back to serve. We'll take a quick break here on BWYellowJackets.com.
under that timeout. Mentioned that number 23, Angela Dunn, a junior out of Fairview Park, went to Fairview High School, back to serve. Some of her first action here tonight. Ivy. That one's going to drop on the Crusaders' side. Point Yellow Jackets. Eighteen to nine. The set and the kill for Grace Grundy. Grundy, just a freshman out of Ashland, went to Mapleton High School. A great placement there. Find that opening at the back of the floor there for the Yellow Jackets. And Garrett going for the kill. Couldn't get over the net. Point to Capital once again. 18, 18 to 11. Still in favor of BW. Egan. And Nicholas tried to tip it over. The Yellow Jackets, they're going to pick up the point there. 19 to 11. And coming in to serve is Sydney Kolchagoff. Ivy the kill. Ivy Earl picking up her fifth kill here of the night. That set a little bit behind number 10, Audrey James. She deals with it, but the Yellow Jackets. They get the point again. Kale Nicholas. Kale Nicholas making it 21 to 11. Big advantage here for the Yellow Jackets. Looking to ice away the second set. Served long there by Kolchigoff. Sixth serving air here of the night for the Yellow Jackets. Twenty-one to twelve. Nicholas. It's a great play there by Furness. The Yellow Jackets trying to get the points, and they do. Just tips over the net. Great effort play there by Reagan Willoughby, just not able to quite get to that ball. And Yellow Jackets up 22 to 12. Nicole Logan checks in. Freshman out of Hilliard Darby High School. As well as the service there from number two, Isabella Moskowitz. And they pick up the points, the Yellow Jackets do. 23 to 12, and Moskowitz back to serve again. The junior out of Brighton, Michigan. Logan took it up. Crusaders send it back over the net. Egan. That one's blocked, and it just drops out of bounds. Smart play there by Sarah Reinhardt. Kind of a box out of her teammates as they're laughing over there, making sure none of her teammates go after that. Smart play there by the senior, 24-12. And a block there. There's the point. Picking up the set for the Yellow Jackets, winning the second, 25 to 12. The Yellow Jackets with a set score of two to zero. 
after winning 25 to 19 and then 25 to 12. We're gonna take a break here on BWYellowJackets.com. We'll be right back with the third set here in OAC women's volleyball action. And as we get about set here at Ersprung Gymnasium on the campus of Baldwin Wallace here in Berea, a reminder that tonight's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball game is being brought to you by Medical Mutual of Ohio, the healthcare provider of Baldwin Wallace University. Buffalo Wild Wings in Medina, Strongsville and Warrensville Heights. Buffalo Wild Wings, the ultimate place to get together with your friends to watch sports and eat wings. And Barron's Bus, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. After the Yellow Jackets taking the first and the second set there, look at the stats from the second set. And offensively for the Yellow Jackets in the second set, it was actually Ivy Earl Cecilia Stable, still picking up three points for her team. But it was the first set where she really controlled, started off well in the second set. But Ivy Earl picking up five kills. Can the Yellow Jackets keep it rolling offensively? We will wait and see here in the third. And that's a good start right there. It's Alexis Garrett, she picks up the kill. And the Yellow Jackets, another kill. Garrett. Two to nothing start here in the third set. Martin to serve once again. Just have to get it over and they do so. Keep the set, Ivy Earl. Three to nothing start here in the third. Morgan Mar Martin fires in the serve once again. A good save there by Earl. 
It's gonna drop. Yellow Jackets. Showing some energy, playing well. And the Crusaders falling apart a little bit here in the third. Can they regroup? Egan, Earl, nice dig there by number seven, Aaron O'Connell. Lexus Garrett drops it in on the back line, just past O'Connell. How about Alexis Garrett here to start the third? Five, zero, Yellow Jackets. Morgan Martin, another great serve. And the block there off of Allison May and Garrett out of bounds. And the Crusaders, they get their first point, finally break through here in the third. Miranda Jordan now back to serve. Point for Capital there, five to two. Mentioned in the first set, even though the Yellow Jackets won it, it was actually an attack. A the point there for the Crusaders and the ace. Nice service. That one just dropped down in front of the back line there of the Yellow Jackets. Mentioned that the Crusaders, they really led the attacks in the second set. The Yellow Jackets Really even it back up, 67 to 67 here. The start of the third in total throughout the evening. Ivy Earl into the hands of the blockers and that one out of bounds, point Yellow Jackets. Reinhardt to serve. Yellow Jackets with 34 kills compared to 12 for Capital. Egan, up to Earl. Jordan deals with that. Far side of the floor, into the net is Lindsey Rich, just not able to get over. Yellow Jackets also, those kills, 33 assists. They have led in serve errors. Of course, they've served a few more times. Great job there by the Crusaders, picking up that point, 7-4. That serve just sneaks over the net there. Not much the Yellow Jackets could do. A nice ace for Kaylee Hamby. Hamby once again. Earl, Hamby has to save it. You need to get over, and the Crusaders not able to do so. Point Yellow Jackets, eight to five. Garrett will go and take a quick breather and a seat. Angela Dunn in to serve. Just off of the outstretched fingertips of the blockers. And Egan picks up the point for the Yellow Jackets. Egan, the senior out of here in Cleveland, went to Beaumont High School. Nice play by the Yellow Jackets. Ten to five here in the third. Jordan will go to the bench. Michaela Wrecker, number 23, and for the Crusaders. Dunn serve, looking for that back right corner, not able to get it to drop. 
point Crusaders. Number 17, Regina Setnarowski. In as well as number 20, Reagan Willoughby. Who just served there. And the kill. Number 16. Isa Luciano. Isa Luciano. Great play by her. mentioned she went to Willoughby South High School. Miscommunication there for the Crusaders. Point for the Yellow Jackets again. 10, excuse me, 12 to 6 now is the score. Luciano. Excuse me, that's Ivy Earl to serve. A miss hit there. Stable not able to time up her jump. Just off of the outside of her fingertips, not able to get over the net. 12 to seven. Served by Rich. Egan, Luciano. A great play by the Yellow Jackets. Keep it alive. Crusaders on the attack. And the kill, Luciano. And Luciano will go back to serve now. They're making the score 13-7. Serve a little bit long for her, 13-8. Mentioned with fall sports. Now going on here in the spring this year. Right now, kicking off at the moment, Alden Wallace at John Carroll for the 32nd battle for the Cuyahoga Gold Bowl Trophy at Don Shula Stadium. We'll keep you updated on that one as well. Not too often we're used to seeing any football here in the spring. Short in season is the east side of the OAC and the west side were divided up into two divisions for a shortened four game regular season prior to a final matchup where one would play one, two versus two, and so on and so forth. Yellow Jackets. But this time out here for Capital, have a 14 to 9 lead. We're going to take a break with them here on bwyellowjackets.com. Reminder that tonight's Yellow Jacket women's volleyball game is being brought to you by Santos Italian Restaurant in Middleburg Heights, a family owned and operated restaurant for 35 years. An American inter International, when you require a company with proven performance, rely on American International. Egan to serve for the Yellow Jackets. That one just out there. Smart play by number 22, Cecilia Stable. 15-9, BW. Set, Stable. 
Here's Jordan, and that one long there. Yellow Jackets, another point for them, 16 to nine. Again, after the conclusion of this game, don't go away. Senior night festivities will go on between the two games here. Jordan. Egan and the kill for Garrett. Jackets now with 40 kills here on the night so far. Looking to add to that tally. And they do. Number 22, Cecilia Stable. Getting it done, 18 to nine. Capital, another timeout here. We will once again take a timeout on BWYellowJackets.com. That timeout. Alexis Garrett will go and take a seat. And Madeline Bednar, the junior out of Chagrin Falls, went to Kinston High School. Checks in for her first action here of the night. Just a nice little dink over the, the net there. Clever play by Allison May. And Allison May earlier, one of those seniors out of Louisville, went to St. Thomas Aquinas for high school. At point four capital, makes it 19 to 10. Stable, and that one off of the blocker's hands. He takes a friendly drop on the Capital Crusaders side of the net. And the Crusaders are able to get to that. Falls for a BW point, 20 to 10 now. Five points away from taking this third set and ending this game as well. Martin with the service. A uh, nice kill there. Delaney and Hickian. Junior out of Michigan, finding that back left corner. Yellow Jackets responding right back. Allison May picking up the point, going to the bench, and Issa Luciano in once again. Reinhard. 
and the blocker's getting it done. Big block there by number three, Nicole Logan. 22 to 11. Momentum 100% in the Yellow Jackets' favor here at the moment. Nice hustle play there by Martin. And a smart play by her to let that one go as it goes long. 23 to 11. Two points away. And the Yellow Jackets have just appeared to continue to get stronger and stronger here as the game's gone on. Maybe even wearing down the Crusaders. Continuing to put the pressure on the attack. Rich just sends it over. Let's play it by Jordan. And the Yellow Jackets keep it alive. And doesn't quite drop over there. A great effort. The Capital Crusaders get the point, 23 to 12. Kaylee Hamby back in and serves. And a kill there, Nicole Logan. Twenty-four to twelve. Bender goes to the bench. Angela Dunn, and again. This could do it for the Yellow Jackets, and they pick up the point. Logan tried to drop it in. No points there. Logan again, and she gets it done. That's the set, and that's the game. So that third set, 25 to 12, and the set score, three to zero for the Yellow Jackets. Quickly recap this one. First set went 25 to 19 for the Yellow Jackets. Second set, 25 to 12 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Identical score in the third from the second set, 25 to 12. Again, we will take a break here on BWYellowJackets.com as the Yellow Jackets pick up their first win here of the season. Crusaders fall to 0-3. Senior activities and festivities will be coming here on BWYellowJackets.com here still on the live stream. So keep watching, keep listening. We will be back with the second match as well as they'll take a quick break here and rest up and refuel. Stay tuned on BWYellowJackets.com.
And as you see the Yellow Jackets team out here on the floor. Again, the parents of the seniors get to have them here in the stands. But the teammates walking them out, a kind gesture as the seniors out being honored on the floor. As they're being recognized, the Baldwin Wallace University Athletic Department and Women's Volleyball Program would like to congratulate senior student athletes Sydney Kolchagoff, Kathleen Egan, Alexis Garrett, Allison May, Kale Nicholas, Sam Pruitt, and Sarah Reinhard on completing their outstanding athletic careers at the university. Their hard work, dedication, and commitment to the program is evident and is greatly appreciated. These young women have had solid careers, not only athletically, but academically as well. In addition, their leadership has been a key element. And the university would also like to thank their parents and guardians for their loyalty and support. And tonight, we also honor your hard work, commitment, and dedication as well. The university administration, faculty, and staff would like to wish all of you great success in all of your future endeavors. Again, just a reminder, that is Sydney Kolchagoff, a public health major from Finley, Ohio, and a graduate of Liberty Benton High School. Kathleen Egan, a psychology major from Cleveland, Ohio, graduate of Beaumont High School. Alexis Garrett, an exercise science and pre-physical therapy, pre-allied health double major from Mentor, and a graduate of Mentor High School. Allison May, a pre-physical therapy, pre-allied health major from Louisville. And she's a graduate of St. Thomas Aquinas here in Louisville. Gail Nicholas, a national security major from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And a graduate of the University School of Milwaukee. Sam Pruitt, a mathematics major from Boulevard, Ohio, and a graduate of Tuscarawas Valley High School. And Sarah Reinhardt, athletic training in pre-physical therapy, pre-allied health double major from Willoughby, a graduate of Willoughby South High School. Alden Wallace again would just like to thank Sydney, Kathleen, Alexis, Allison, Kale, Sam, and Sarah, as well as their parents and guardians for all their hard work, dedication, and commitment to the Yellow Jacket women's volleyball program. Your efforts have truly made a difference both on campus and on the field. The university would also like to wish each and all of you the best of luck in your future endeavors and hope that even after graduation that you come back and visit us often. You will always be a Yellow Jacket for life. YJ 4L. Again, congratulations to all of them on the floor there. And we will take a break here on BWYellowJackets.com. Second game will be being brought to you here in a little under 30 minutes. Stay tuned.